Welcome to Happy Mat Pilates Side or Oblique Workout. Let's start out on our side. I'm on my right side. You want to have your elbow directly underneath your shoulder. And then lift your hips straight up. Now as an alternative, you can bend your knees and then lift up from your knees and also work on your side that way. I'm going to straighten my legs. Go ahead and lift your hips up using those obliques to lift. Raise your top arm and hold. The more you pull in those obliques, the easier it is on your shoulder joints and your elbow joints. And then go ahead and lower and lift your hips. Just a light hip tap, or you can just barely hover above the ground and then back up again. Squeezing those obliques to lift and lower your hips. Make sure that your hips are stacked, your legs are zipped together, and your heels are together. Okay, and then go ahead and come all the way down. You can rest your head on your arm or on your hand. You can put your head in front, or your hand in front, or on your hip for support. Zip those legs and then lift and lower those legs. Using the obliques to help lift and lower. Keep going. take those legs and we're going to sweep them forward and then back to the center and up. Sweeping forward and back to the center and up. As your hips rock slightly from side and then straight again. You can have your arm in front or on your hips for support. Okay. Now lower the bottom leg or you can lift your leg, bottom leg and then lift and lower the top leg. Lifting the bottom leg makes it so that you're working out your oblique a little bit more. But either way is fine. Keep going. Okay, now let's scissor those legs back and forth. Keeping them lifted. Keep your legs straight. Okay, we're going to then, now let's move over to the opposite side. I'm on my left side this time. Again, you can bend your knees and lift and lower that way or hold up and work your obliques. Or to make it a little more intense, go ahead and straighten those legs out, stacking your hips, your legs are zipped together. And reach your top arm up and hold. Tighten those obliques up. All, again, will help relieve some of the tension on any joints especially your shoulder. And then we're going to lower and lift the hips. You can do this with bent knees or straight legs. Squeezing those obliques to lift and lower. Let's come all the way down, either on your arm or rest your head on your hand. And then zip those legs together and lift and lower them straight up and down. going to bring those legs, sweeping them around, up and over, to the side, up and over. Keeping your legs zipped together, using those obliques and your abs to help control those legs and move those legs from one side to the other. legs elevated, lift and lower the top leg only. Make sure that your hips stay stable, they're not rocking from side to side. And then scissor your legs back and forth. You don't have to go very far, very wide, even just a little bit back and forth is good. And let's come on our knees. Our knees are directly underneath our hips. Straight back, arms straight up, 
clasp your hands, lift up the chest as you reach over from side to side. Keep breathing. Make sure your back is straight and your tailbone is tucked under. Take that leg out to the side, your knee is on the ground, and then quite gently come over to one side. You want to balance primarily on that knee, so don't put too much weight on your hand. It's just there for balance. Okay, now we're going to lift and lower just a little bit. It's more like a pulse, that top leg. You can raise your hand up over to the side and bring your leg together, squeezing your oblique as you bring your arm and your leg close together. Let's do the opposite side. Again, just using that lower hand for support to help balance. And when you feel that you can balance on that knee, go ahead and lift up that leg and then lift and lower just a little bit that leg. As you lift the leg, try to bring it up to about the hip level. Reach your arm over and leg together. All right, let's make our way back to our knees and a job well done.